some of you expressed an interest in me doing a vlog while I'm here. So, um, come along with me. I just want my family, hello, I love you, to know I'm okay. I haven't decided the format of my videos or anything like that. But, um, and I don't, haven't decided if I'm even going to format it. I may just put it out there and maybe do a voiceover to explain what you're looking at. Safety instructions in Portuguese. I guess I'm really moving to Brazil. When we arrived, I was struck by how much the airport reminded me of Hawaii with its open air yeah. feel. So Mary Birch and I are in the taxi. We're in Brasilia. The city of Brasilia, the capital of Brazil, is only 60 years old. Usually when you think of a capital city, you think of a historic area, but everything in Brasilia is shiny and new. We stayed at Hotel B when we were in Brasilia for in-country um, orientation, and the hotel staff was amazing. You right this year, okay? In April, 21st of April. That's why Brazil is one of the most recently built capitals in the world. Most modern capital, that means the most modern architecture. We just have here one place. Can everybody attend me? Yes. Yes. I said to the driver, he can hear you. And that means, how about that means soccer, huh? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, I, I've been here during the World Cup for five games. I was hired by BBC Radio in London. Very pretty, yes. I picked the airport, the reporters in the airport, brought them to the hotel. On our first day, we went on a tour of Brasilia. We stopped in front of the soccer stadium um, that had been used to the Olympics. And we also stopped in front of the National Cathedral. Brazilian restaurant. So what am I doing here in Brazil? 
I am serving as an English language fellow at the program funded by the U.S. Department of State. I will be working with pre-service English teachers and professors in two universities here in um, the area. One is in Sao Leopoldo and the other is in um, Puerto Alegre. So I will be living in Puerto Alegre, uh, but right now I'm living in Sao Leopoldo. Well, it's been two weeks to the day since I left the United States. And today I'm going to go and try to open a Brazilian bank account. Now, nothing really happens in Brazil until after Carnival, I'm told. So today I'm going to meet with um, one of the professors that will be my uh, point of contact and co-instructor at Unicinos and um, the head of the, the coordinator of the language center. And I'm going to try to get a bank account started. So I guess the ball's about to get rolling. I don't know if I'll post this, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I do the vlog, how often I'll do the vlog. I don't know any of that. But one is in Sao Leopoldo and the other, y'all see I'm frowning because the sun is really bright. Um, one is in Sao Leopoldo. Sun's in my eyes. Okay, let's see, maybe this way. I don't know. Let me try this way again. Yeah. I've watched a lot of vlogs. I have my favorites. Um, and so I feel like I should say things like, hey guys. <laughs> but that's just not me.